back to my channel and welcome back to the garden on this day we are doing some cleanup out in the garden you see I have my helper there that is Clark and he's pretty much my constant sidekick he's laying right here beside me as I voice over this video as well so he never really goes far anyway we've got to do some cleanup out in the garden on this day uh, this was about a couple weeks ago I guess and I really needed to get the things out of the garden that were still there from the fall and winter garden. So there was a lot of stalks left, as you can see, from things like broccoli, Brussels sprouts, stuff that has already been harvested, but I just left the stalks in for a little while. Some things also kind of go to flower, and that's good because it gives the bees some early flowers to, you know, get the pollen from and things like that as they start to wake up for the year as well. So anyway, I am pulling all that stuff out at this point because we've got to get things tidied up. That way we can start to plant things in the garden. The actual fun part of the garden season needs to commence. And in order to commence the fun part, I got to clean up last year's mess. So that's just part of it. And it doesn't take long. I probably worked in the garden on this day for maybe an hour or so. Um, I just, at this point of the season, I'm just kind of working in between the cracks. And we have a lot of things going on around the homestead. We are back to farmer's market at this point as well. So every weekend or every other weekend at this point, we are going to the farmer's market, which takes up a lot of my time throughout the week. But I'm just kind of working in between the cracks and then getting as much done as I can do here and there. I'm looking around. I think I must. there must have been a hawk around on this day because um, I see myself in this video looking around a lot at the sky. So <laughs> that's usually what that means. You see, there's just all kinds of stuff in here. We had a straight line wind come through the other day and took down a bunch of leaves, not leaves, branches and tree limbs and things in our yard. So some things fell in here as well. So all of that just has to be removed, tidy up. And then what I'm going to do also is spread this fabric this black landscape fabric back out again um, so I'm going to try to get one more growing season out of this black fabric and really as people have asked me why do I use that and honestly it's not mandatory by any means in your garden in my garden it's sort of mandatory though because I do have so many chickens and birds and turkeys and things that try to sneak over into the garden it serves a few purposes for that it keeps them from being as attracted to the garden because if it's just open and exposed dirt, the birds want nothing more than to come in, dig in that dirt, find bugs, find worms, take dust baths in the dirt, all kinds of stuff. So when it's covered, it's a lot less attractive to them because they can't see that it's just open and exposed dirt. Okay, I'm also removing, you see there, pulling out that um, drip tape that has been in for the last couple of seasons too. And eventually that just kind of gets too worn and it gets holes and things in it so that is trash for now and I'll replace that drip tape this season. I typically shop for that at Harbor Freight because they really have the best price that I have found. I don't order it online because honestly it's usually overpriced so I just pop in our local Harbor Freight and pick up those as I need them. So um, anyway about the black landscape fabric again. I'm going to try to get one more season of use out of it, as I said, 
So I'm just kind of refreshing everything, scraping the dirt off the top of it because when the dirt is on top of it rather than underneath it, then um, weeds and things can grow right in the soil that's sort of on top of the fabric as well. So as I said, it serves a few purposes. It keeps the birds out and it makes the garden a lot less attractive to them. It keeps the soil covered. It also suppresses the weeds for sure. So anytime that um, a weed seed has a little soil over it and moisture and some sunlight, it will definitely grow. So without the sunlight, uh, because it's under the weed barrier, then the seeds cannot germinate. So it, it helps with that as well. And it really, honestly, it just keeps the soil in place a lot better for me in my garden. So I try to kind of heal things up and then I will go back through and flatten out the soil a little bit before I put the weed fabric back on top and then I use landscape staples throughout the garden in so many ways really and then I um, secure that black fabric back down so I'll have to get myself some more landscape staples out here shortly and that way I can get everything secured back into place but you see I'm just using my rake to scrape the soil back into the place where it belongs rather than wherever the birds or myself or whoever has kicked it out to be so Put it back in the rows where it should be. You may be able to see also over there that Clark has got the fence all torn up on the other side. Somehow that has fallen down. This is just a typical work at the garden type of day. It was a little cool on this day actually. We had warm temperatures a few weeks ago and then we dropped back down for a few days. Now we're back to nice and warm and I don't think we're going to be having any more threats of frost or anything like that at all so we we're perfectly safe at this point to start growing whatever we want to start growing out in the garden many people have started their stuff much earlier than i have but what i find to be the case for here is you might be able to put the plants out safely without the threat of frost before april 1st but the temperature is not quite warm enough for them to really take off yet so still having cool nights and everything things don't really grow they will just kind of sit there for several weeks until the temperatures start to warm up in the day. This is the landscape staples that I use. I just order these on Amazon. Typically I buy a box like this from my local nursery, but I found them on Amazon, so I just had them shipped right to me. That way I would not be without them the next time that I needed them, which is now. Okay, these are better than the ones that I use from my um, local nursery. These are much thicker. These are 11 gauge. I think the ones that I use from my local nursery are like 14 or 16 gauge. So these are thicker than the other ones that I bought. I'll be sure to leave the link for those landscape staples in the description box below because I did order those from Amazon and they are the best landscape staples that I have ever used. The other ones that I use from my local nursery Typically, I get about one season out of those and then they rust in the ground so badly that I, I usually just toss them. If I can reuse them, then I do, of course, but they get a lot of rust on them. But these landscape staples that I purchased from Amazon are so much thicker. They're a heavier duty gauge and hopefully I will be able to get quite a bit more use out of them. And they were less expensive as well. So, you know, go figure. Go figure. But anyway, I just use plenty of those to secure the fabric back into place. The great thing about the spring and summer garden is that things will be so huge and there was there's so much abundant growth on all the things that I'm going to be planting out into the garden this year. Green beans and tomatoes and peppers and all kinds of things. We hardly will see this fabric at all. Even though it looks kind of scummy right now when it's just bare landscape fabric over the dirt. Um, luckily, in no time at all, once we plant the garden out, things will be cut. This will be covered up and we will hardly even notice that it's there. So that's a good thing, in my opinion, because while I like functionality, I also like for things to look attractive in the garden. And sometimes in the beginning of the season, when things look like this and they're very desolate and bare and cruddy looking I guess um, it's hard to it's hard to feel very excited about the garden <laughs> until you start seeing some fresh green growth and things really coming to life it's a little bit difficult to get excited
what I have left is here, down this row, I want to spread this landscape fabric. And I don't know if I left it in my other video or not, can't remember. But I'm going to grow tomatoes here on this trellis. So there'll be tomatoes on this side and the opposite side of this trellis. And last year, I grew things on this one. Things on the inside of that as well. Okay, so last year I grew on both sides of this, but what I found was that the tomato <laughs> from that trellis and the things that I had on this trellis were growing together, basically where I could hardly get through there at all to harvest things. So it was a big mess. I mean, it was fine as far as the growth of the things, but I just want to leave myself more room to harvest on the tomatoes and tie the tomatoes up and all of that fish here. So I'm just going to use this strictly as a walkway here on this side. Um, so I'm just going to spread that landscape fabric there, put the staples in, and that will just be a pass-through basically for this year instead of having things planted there as well. I think I've got plenty of room to plant things without planting on both sides of this. So, um, we'll see how it goes. And then if I need to, you know, if I just end up wanting to really grow in that space or something, I can always do that. So anyway, I'm going to clear off this side of the landscape fabric, get all the dirt off of it again, and then staple it down really, really well where the turkeys and everybody cannot scratch it up. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side here. So let's get to it. everything cleaned up the way that I wanted to. Actually, I was going to say, should I plant some, some things out before the rain starts, but I just felt two raindrops on my face. So <laughs> we may not have to ponder that. I guess this is going to be all that I get to for today, but I'm super happy to have all of this back secured in place. And that means the next good day that I get, I can come out here because as you saw on my last video, I got my garden plan together. Today, I got everything cleaned up and ready to go out here. So the next good day that I get, I can come out here and just start planting. So I'm super excited about that. This is all looking really, really good. So we're off to a good start here in the spring garden. I think we're about three days into spring here. So we will start to plant things out very, very soon. I do hope that you have enjoyed this video. I know we didn't do a whole lot, but this is just sort of the background work that goes into having a garden every year. You gotta start somewhere with everything, get it all cleaned up and ready to roll. So I look forward to growing things together all the rest of the year. So I hope you'll come back and see my next videos and I appreciate you being here today. I hope to see you back here again real soon.